A very good morning to you and welcome to the Morning Outlook Report. I'm Rachel Jones reporting live from Kalkine TV Sydney Studios. Now the Australian share market is set to open higher this morning. ASX futures were up 28 points or 0.4% to 7,299. The S&P ASX 200 advanced 0.1% or 9.8 points to 7,364.8 yesterday. And that's thanks largely to a bumper session by tech stocks. At the closing bell yesterday, the S&P SX200 was 0.1% or 10 points higher at 7,365. Across the sectors, 5 out of 11 closed in the red. Technology was the best performer, followed by healthcare. Meanwhile, real estate dragged the most, with materials weighing behind that. The best performing stock yesterday was Link Administration Holdings. Their shares closed 15% higher at $5.51. The worst performing stock in the S&P SX200 was Falcon Metals, closing 37% lower at 32 cents. Moving on to some company news from today, the Foreign Investment Review Board has no objections to the proposed $23.6 billion acquisition of Sydney Airport, and that's by a consortium led by IFM Investors. The Sydney Airport Board unanimously recommends that shareholders vote in favour of the deal at a meeting to be held on the 3rd of February next year. Syra Resources has executed an offtake agreement with Tesla to supply natural graphite active anode material from its facility in Vidalia in USA. Tesla also has an option to offtake additional volume from Vidalia subject to Syra expanding its capacity. Cyrus' flagship is the Balamo Graphite operation in Mozambique, but also the downstream active anode material facility in the US. Cyrus' vision is to be the world's leading supplier of superior quality graphite and anode material products. And Collins Foods has appointed Mark Hawthorne as a new independent non-executive director of the company. Most recently, he was CEO and executive director of Guzman and Gomez from 2015 to 2020. Before that, he led McDonald's in various markets, including Britain, New Zealand, the Middle East and Africa over a period of 10 years. And Genix Power has entered into a binding bi-directional service provider connection and access agreement with Powerlink Queensland for the Boulder Battery Project located in central Queensland. Genix has a portfolio of more than $1 billion of renewable energy generation and storage projects across Australia. Well, now it's time for a short break. Stay tuned for more news set to affect the trading day. Hi, I'm Sage, and get ready to take the crypto ride with me on Kalkine TV. Watch the crypto buzz every Tuesday and join the excitement at Kalkine TV from Bitcoins to NFTs to Dogecoin and DeFi. We have updates about everything around these digital currencies. Understand the investing rationale and the risks involved in the space with me, Sage, on Crypto Buzz. Keep watching Kalkine TV. Welcome back to the Morning Outlook Report. Let's take a close look at overnight trade on Wall Street. The Dow Jones rose 0.4%. The S&P 500 is up 0.7% and the Nasdaq rose 0.8%. Now, US stocks did advance yesterday and that's amid the release of mostly positive economic data. Consumer confidence rose more than forecast for December and the Conference Board's index increasing 115.8% from November's 111.9. Also over in the US, existing home sales gained at less than expected, but still advanced 1.9% to an annualized 6.46 million. Over in Europe, the stocks 50 index was up 0.8%. The FTSE in London was up 0.4% and the DAX up 0.8%. Oil is up 21% at $75 and 54 US cents a barrel. And gold is up to 1,805 US dollars. That's up 0.9%. And iron ore is up, oh, sorry, iron ore did fall. That's down 2% to $121.40. Well, that's all for our Morning Outlook report here on Calkine TV. Have a great day trading. Stay tuned for more market updates and economic news live throughout the day. This is Rachel signing off for now.